Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I want to show you how to make this card. I'm going to be using the Painted Poppies Bundle. I'm just going to be using this die and this stamp here. And it doesn't have a sentiment. And I just want a hello, so I'm going to bring in to a wild rose. And I'm also going to be using the Subtle's embossing folder. Real red ink pad. The detailed trio um, punch for the corner round. Some of the Poppy's Designer Series paper. I have, um, well there's four squares here, but I really only need three. And these are one and a half inches square. And I have black, one and three quarter inches square, so I can mount them up. I have a scrap of white to stamp on and to die cut the circle out of. A piece of Granny Apple Green, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths that I've already embossed with the Subtle's embossing folder. Another piece of Granny Apple, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And a card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, scored and folded at uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay, let's get started. We're also going to bring in uh, a few uh, Stampin' Blends, the Real Red and Granny Apple Green combos. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mount this layer to the front of my card base. Okay. It's a new bottle. Go. This is the same size as the front of the card. Okay, then I'm going to mount this piece that I embossed right on top of that. And this is only going to have a sixteenth of an inch border. Now, there we go. Now we're going to bring in the us die here. We're going to run that through the die cutting machine. I already did it for the sake of time. And the hello. And I'm going to stamp that right across here. Make sure it's inked up well. And it's down at the bottom, right hand side. Perfect. Okay, that's all I need this sink for. I'm also going to need a memento, I forgot. And I'm going to bring in the poppy. Link that up with the memento. Stamp that. Perfect. Bring in the Stampin' Blends. I'm going to take the uh, light, uh, real red, and I'm going to color the entire poppy. And this little one here. I'm come in with the dark one and the littler end. And I'm going to just 
bottom here, I'm going to scribble in a little bit of this dark color. I'm literally just scribbling it in. I'm not, not being neat. And I'm going to bring in the uh, Granny Apple Green. I'm going to use a smaller end. And this is the dark one. I don't even think I used the light one. I'm just going to color in the stem. down the center here and bring the light one finish that off okay now I'm going to bring in a box because I also added a little bit of spritzing on there and all I did was take the large tip of the the cap off the brush tip of the dark red and another marker I just tapped it like this and the reason I did it in here is so it doesn't get all over my desk I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but hold on and I'll show you you see the little split the splatters on there okay now I'm just going to fussy cut that out. And leave a little bit of an edge. Move the paper, not the scissors. You get a nicer, smoother cut. Okay, and just for the sake of time, I've already cut one out. Okay, so let me see how I did. A little bit in here, I didn't go all the way down into the stem. Alright, now we're going to bring these in. We want to figure out which way we want these to go. We only need three of them. So pick which three you want. And you'll see on the card I've got the curved ends on one end. So you want to figure out where you want them and you're going to bring in your punch and you're going to make, insert the paper. It's got the two flat edges. Make sure it's flat against those and all the way in. And then punch it. Let's move this out of the way. And then do it on the opposite side. Okay, so that's going to be the first one in there, and then we'll get this one. This one's the opposite. I'm going to do this one and this one. Okay, and one more, and this one's going to be this corner and this corner, so... The only tricky part of this is making sure you round the right corners. Okay, then I'm going to round um, the corners on the black pieces the same way. They're a little bit larger, so make sure you're doing it opposite. So there's that one. This one, they're squares, so if you get them wrong, you can just turn it. It doesn't matter. But these, the paper is directional, so you can't turn them. Okay, one more. Okay, rid of all these little bits. All right, now we can glue these together. With our Tombow glue. bit on the back. It's too much glue. Let's share it. Okay. One more. Right. 
now I put some dimensionals on the back of this piece, also on the back of here. So let's bring in our dimensionals. Dimensionals on the back of that, just in the center of it, Oops. like that. Okay, bring in our flower, we'll put one on the back of the flower itself. And I need a smaller piece, so I'm going to cut this edge. That's going to fit there. I think it does. Don't want it hanging off, so let's trim this one here. I think that works. A little tiny piece to go behind the leaf and the bud. shot here. All right, well, let's bring in our card base. I'm going to glue these on directly to the card, like that. Here. Just trying to keep the space here and here the same and have them be fairly lined up. Okay, now we're going to bring this piece in. Take those backs off the dimensionals. the hello is even. Place that piece down right about there. Okay, where did my flower go? There it is. Take the backs off those dimensionals. right back. Okay, I've got two strands of either the uh, baker's twine or two pieces of the uh, white ribbon. I just pulled the ribbon out of it. The um, hemp ribbon, I think it's... Oh, I can't remember. Well, I'm just tying a little bow. ribbon. Trim those ends off. Bring in a glue dot. Roll that glue dot up. Put it on the back of my ribbon. Put that ribbon on at the bottom of the flower. There we go. That's the card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you can find some time to play with some stamps, inks, and paper. Thank you. Have a good day.